we know that the resistance of a resistor changes with temperature and let's see now how this change happens uh, for a specific uh, example and we have a silver wire which has a resistance of 6 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius and the question is what is the resistance at the for the same wire what is the resistance at 34 degrees Celsius and the temperature coefficient of the silver is given as 3.8 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, inverse Celsius degree that means one degree of uh, change in the temperature uh, in induces uh, the resistance of this much 3.8 times 10 to the minus 3 so let's uh, remember uh, what was the resistivity or resistance of a, a conductor at certain temperature if you know the resistance of that the same conductor at a specific uh, temperature and if you know of course the uh, temperature coefficient of the conductor and this temperature coefficient is specific to each type of metals as I said as I given in the problem for silver it is this much and for for gold it is a different number for for uh, for for example copper it's a different so it, it, it unique it's it is unique to the uh, type of the material so this is the expression the, how to read this expression that we know the temperature of the uh, conductor at T0 that's we call initial temperature and if we want to know the temperature of the same conductor at any other temperature then we have to multiply this uh, resistance with that quantity in this quantity we have the temperature difference and this is multiplied by the uh, coefficient of uh, temperature and we had this plus one in the parentheses so let's do the calculation and we are given uh, our 20 degrees 6 ohms and our 34 34 is not known and if you plug and chuck in everything in this expression we can find that the resistance of this wire at 34 degrees Celsius is given by this uh, algebra and the uh, final result I can calculate uh, with my calculator as 6.252 degrees Celsius so the temperature increases for this uh, range of uh, temperature for the silver from uh, 6 ohms to 6 point, uh, 220, uh, 252 degrees Celsius well this doesn't seem very much and we can think of why when in some conductor uh, in, in the temperature of a some conductor increases its temperature why the resistivity or, uh, or resistance uh, increases well <coughs> this can be understood in the uh, uh, macroscopic picture because when we heat up a conductor that means the average speed of electrons in that conductor will increase because it, the kinetic energy increases with the temperature in fact the kinetic energy of a substance is nothing but its average uh, energy per uh, moving uh, particle when you heat up uh, the electrons will move faster and when they move faster their uh, collision time also will uh, be changed and the collision times between the electrons will be smaller that means this will affect the collective motion of electrons from one point to another uh, by decreasing in fact this drift velocity because the collision time now faster and uh, the drift velocity uh, for a shorter time will be less and if the drift velocity is less then that means the current is less and if the current is less then that means the resistance is large so when you heat up a certain uh, conductor you can figure out that because of the uh, increased motion of charges or electrons the resistance also will 
increase. 